one instead. Okay. And this is one of the more micro-intensive wars I've ever had playing Europa. Maybe not ever, but on stream. Normally at this stage, and you know what, I get this big and I'm just like, ah! I start playing like the pig out of um, Stronghold, where I just throw my troops around willy-nilly. Uh, these troops concern me though, I don't want them moving in on me in a uh, horrible fashion. Unless I have any sieges that are about to pop, and I just have this one. Mm, ah, but there's still no need to go for it just yet. I'll have you guys make your way across, because I have some Adal and Book. Oh, god, that's a tiny Adal stack. I could even save Tabritz at this rate. I need to piece out Bukhara, who are contributing all of the artillery to this. So I need to piece them out in 33 days, or fewer. Should give me time to clear a fort or two. Okay, there's no point in letting this battle commence, it's just going to cost me more. So unless there's a siege that's going to pop like that. Uh, the battle commence on the 17th, it's too risky to wait on a... Uh, on one on a uh, fort that concludes just before that. Money is nice, but maybe instead of the money I can take some more land. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Alright, but I grab their forts, I grab their money. 230, 230, or... Sometimes the way you click this can get you a bit more, like 231. Little tricks like that, let you save up the ducats. So that's great, that slaps Bukhara out of this war, they won't be a threat anymore. Thank goodness. Ha, man. As I say, take a photo, it'll last longer. Man, if he declines this, I'm going to be unhappy. Good. Well, thank God for that. That could have gone so ugly. How is that in terms of my states and territories? I don't really have any interest in going further north than this. I'm glad this is already part of one. But it's still land and it still must be cored. And I can finally start converting BAM, which is nice. I want everybody to be the same height, the same color, and for them all to have Johnson's Lazard. You know. Okay, now the train of pain for Adal starts. And it only terminates when I am literally touching Kaffa. I guess these guys are in my hair as well. It's not that they were all that tough, but I'm just glad they're gone. This means I have a lot of reorganization of my army to do. So if you are a solitary stack like this, please make your way down to Copper Tag to be uh, reassigned. That sounds a lot more sinister than it is, trust me. So who do I charge face first into Tabriz? I want you to get the fast guys. It's a shame, I would rather charge these guys into Tabriz. They are just so much better, but always backing them up. Jake, an older Adal alliance. I'll do it from the other side, because Adal is going to... Ooh, clever bugger. I can't actually get to Adal. No, that's not true. I could take the Mamluks path. Please don't cost me like this. Also, I better remember to re-establish that spy network. Not the thing I'm most happy with, those. Probably because I keep forgetting like a fool. Alright, so how are we going to have this? Mercs and Kamiz, regulars in Boy Nord. It's one of our larger stacks. It's only taking a wee smidge of attrition. Hardly something worth crying about. Still, though, I don't... I don't want to attack him in mountains, but I really don't want him to take one of my forts. Also... 
Am I seeing things, or was the Ottoman exiled? He shouldn't be exiled, he's in my land. Me, his glorious overlord. As unquestionable as I am handsome. Mobed Saidi Dalwan. Jake Persian Separatists, 70%. Bam? But I thought I increased autonomy in Bam. Oh yeah, the whole rooting them out. Alright, they can uh, they can keep their faith for a little bit. I want to see that drop down to 50 or fewer. A little concerned here. Yes, they are exiled. That's mad. They shouldn't be exiled in the Overlord's uh, territory. Oh well. I'm still going to murder these guys if I can get there in time. As long as it holds out for one month, it should be plenty. You're going to get the superior general. Uh, mind you, you've got all the good uh, cannons. Maybe I should give you the five fire. Two maneuver is enough to bypass any of that nonsense. And you can be there as backup. I hope they don't go there, but they probably will. Are well, they're not? Well. Wellity, wellity, well. You're going to die. Now, what about all of this? I got some Marahen friends who need to die. You are regulars. You're uh, not. 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 Ugh, there's so many coming in. Let's just get you guys taking them out. Seven percent. There's no way it'll fall at that. Jake, they were in Bukhara when the peace was signed. I know that, but I'm their overlord. I really should lift um, lift exile status for them. My hope is that I trash these guys because if they get back up and they'll probably back them up, then that's going to be bad news for me. I probably should have had these guys so they can intercept them. But I didn't, so let's just do it this way. The everyone gets hurt way. Lower that war exhaustion so the BAM actually uh, goes down. Unfortunately, I think they're going to get both the siege and help them out. Huh, go figure. But he's on his way to Tabriz. I'm not about to wipe him out in 10 days or so. This is going to be a battle that hurts me quite a bit. I could accept that, or pull back. Yeah, if he's rolling a 9 on that fire, which was my one hope to really ravage him, then yeah, this is going to go pretty badly. Alright, I'll just pray for the best. I'm good at getting the best. Oh, not with those rolls, though. Nah, he's going to reinforce, and this is going to be a drawn-out and painful battle for me. Clever thing to do is deal as much damage as I can, he reinforces, and then I just get the heck out of there. Now if he wants to sit and smoke attrition till the cows come home, then that's his problem. And he does, that's the nice part. He appears to be uh, getting the bonus of those cannons there. Either that or something else happened that I missed. No, I probably just missed something. Ha! <laughs> You're going to die. Then again, I'm kind of praying that Very Ardalan holds out at this case, but maybe I should have you slaughter them. And again, you probably won't get it done fast enough. Alright, I just have to believe that Very Ardalan can hold out. Only has to hold out for a couple of months. Mm, well, odds of that starts looking a lot lower when you see that. Good, good. Great. And our manpower has actually gone up over all of this. Fort defense plus 20% could actually save me here. So better luck next time is the uh, the phrase for this. I'm going to scrunch all of them together, actually fully scrunch them together, 
because that way they'll do proportionally more damage. Come on, wipe them. Wipe the floor with them. you got seven days to do that. Did it. Did it, did it, did it. Now they get to feel true pain. Still worried about these guys, though. So, oh, okay. They arrived at kind of the same time. Order of operations means that they just face a retreat there. That's always been a bug in Europa. Fifteen days? Nine? Okay, I think I was actually saved by 20% extra fort defense there. Funny the way the world works out. Okay, things are going good. Now I'm going to tell my people to frankly do as they please. Jake, is this the old save? It is the very hard land that we were working on many months ago, so yes. Mamluks still want to give me military access despite everything. But they already give me conditional military access, because they give it to Adal. Not the best of fights this, I'm running into mountains, but Marahan are at military tech 11 to our 13. Mm, I'll scrunch up anyway. Oh, and maybe give you a not- no, you've got the 5 fire, that's good. So you guys are going to retreat for a wa fair while, which gives me ample opportunity to clean up the mess you've made of my country. Not that you've made that much of a mess, but I think things look a bit hairier down in Arabia. Hmm. At least you never took any of my forts. So, this looks good. And all this is territory, so uh, really not feeling this very much. Hmm. They all fall down. Wait, what? Oh, something there didn't go the way I'd uh, assumed. I may have to intercept him. Hopefully he goes and sieges Tabritz for real. God, as if their opinion has ever mattered about me. So, let's get back to work on those bams. This is unfortunate. Just let him stroll right back into Debrids with exactly the army that I didn't want him to have there. At least we slapped Marahan out of here. Iraq can use their units to... Ah, oh, they don't have enough to siege Baghdad. It's tempting for me to de-siege it for them, but I think I'll just leave them to their own devices. Okay, this army remains a bit of a threat, and I can't really charge into it face first. So what do I do? And I'll still have some fangs to them, but uh, at least they've been sufficiently declawed. And I still need to pursue good war score with them, which means cleaning up all of this. Could grab just a couple of mercs and throw them down there and make everything hunky-dory. So I think I'll do exactly that. Marahen. Is it Mirhan? Marahen? Ah, probably making a dog's mess of their name as I often do. In any case, we need to focus on the south. And I need to think what to do with these jokers here. This is all mountainous. It's hard for me to find a good way to engage them. I could split my forces 50 50 here and here have you guys in very hard land, and that way if he finishes up to Brits I can just converge on it, and with a bit of luck he'll try and engage me some way, somehow. So all our regulars, not really looking for people to attach to us anymore. That was a strange way to- oh, I see you attached to me. Kind of good to have you help in the fight against a doll, but let's be honest, this has gotten personal for me, so you just go away and do whatever you feel is best. I appreciate your help, and it's a poor move for me to leave him... Oh, right, he's going to attach to any of my units that say, please attach to me. Honestly, this is a unit that I should have attached to me, but... That's not how I play. I have had too many games where I try to play optimally. It's time to play for keeps. Well, we 
aware that none of that makes sense. Let's go for it. Jake, what's the war goal? Do they have ticking? Yes, they took Jeddah. But Jeddah is unfortified and easy enough for me to take back. Also, Iraq. Oh, well, you'll have to get uh, DXL before I commend you for a good job. Are the Avenues back, though? His, war, his uh, war enthusiasm is waning, but we're not there yet. I wonder if I engage him here. Will he jump to their defense or not? It's not a huge stack, and I won't lose-lose. I mean, I'll lose the battle, but it'll hardly be a big loss for me. I'll always bring him back more, but it's his Marahen friends. Which I could really do with the Ottomans jumping in on this. So if I tell the Ottomans to go and do something down there, then they might just do it. But they'll probably desiege Baghdad without a siege general, which is foolish, but oh well. It's a shame it's not a 10 to 1. Actually, no, that's good. If it's not a 10 to 1, then I might intimidate them, but I didn't. Ha! <laughs> Hungary got excommunicated. I am greatly amused. Okay, this is all fun and games, but if he comes over there and really hurts me, then that's bad for me. So I will give you a general. I have not got a siege general, nor do I have the uh, the points to get one. I'm glad he lived long enough to bring down the enemy uh, enemy forts. The ones we started with, at least. So who would I rather have around here? Fire or shock? Well, he's got three maneuver, so I'm going to keep the three maneuver guy up there, so that he, if he does attack me, I can give him river crossing penalties. That should work out. Ten to ones any day of the week. Never don't get 10 to 1s if the opportunity arises. As long as you're not putting yourself in horrible danger. So often people tell me that I should be building buildings with money. Oh, we don't need that anymore. Funny that would come up as I start talking about money. Um, I am very tight-fisted with my money in this game, and for good reason. It means, well actually, not really for good reason, for very bad reason. It means that when a war like this breaks out, two fronts, horrifically outnumbered, it means that I can click my fingers and spawn loads of units without having to resort to loans. Now you could just say, just take loans, and that's a very clever thing to do, most people do. I just don't, I don't like playing with loans. Why do I not like playing with loans? It's because I'm still versed in EU3, where if you had to take five loans, you would go bankrupt. It's just a nice little personal rule. Keeps things sufficiently uh, tricky for me. And I like that. I'm always looking for ways to make the game harder. Without subjecting the rest of the world to it. So tempted to just smack those guys, but I know it would end poorly for me. Just not sure how best to engage them, even if uh, if they do move on, because they might just move move from mountainous province to mountainous province. Of all the countries to give me a hard time, though, Adal, that's uh, that's something you see approximately never. Is he going to try and go across here? Wonder I sometimes do. Callum says, I can confirm Jake is tight with money. <laughs> yes. Good business sense, really. Right, if I take Jeddah, they're going to stop getting all that nonsense. However, okay, that's mostly Marahan troops. Still something to worry slightly about because, let's face it, there are lots of them and there are not lots of me and I am only infantry. But I'm only Merc infantry. Mercs exist to die. Oh wait, has he got tech 12? He has not. Still interested to see how a fight would go. 
But if I'm gonna fight, I should honestly fight him when he's more split up. Now, that would be too fair a fight for me, really. Plus, he's got... Oh, well, his units are also broken up. So whilst he would flank me and use cannons on me... You know what, there's no point at all in engaging that fight. He's gonna go north. He's not going to have any real impact on this. He's just gonna be fleshing things out. It's better for me to hang around here, split up, regain these provinces. So I can stop leaking uh, war exhaustion. Still leaking money though. Then again, if they leave on different days, then I can. In oh well, if they want to engage in uh, or move to different provinces, then I'm all the more for that. As soon as he's uh, locked in on Hofuf. If you're really uh, tricky and you calculate things, you can get people the day before they're locked in if you want to make absolutely sure you're going to be getting things. That's good. I'm also going to leave behind 1, 2, 3, 4, because really there's no point in me having more than four people engage him there. Still gonna, but, you know. Alright. Don't know what was going on up there, but something happened. Jeddah is an important one to grab. A glance at the map will show you why. Jake, are you intending on taking Adal's Arabian provinces, or are you just looking for a white piece? I am not in this for white piece. I waited months for this, so I'm not going to just white piece out of it. You know, unless something like uh, Delhi declaring war on me right now. You have any idea how strong Delhi are? Look at how they're crunching Malwa, who's normally top dog around here. If we look at country, D for Delta. Income of 38, plenty of dosh. Oh, what kind of military do they have? What kind of military don't they have? Yeah. Force limit of 95, that puts them fourth place. They're scary. They're really scary. Fortunately, they're enemies with uh, Bukhara. Unfortunately, they're enemies with me. We have come to blows in the past. At least if my memory isn't playing tricks on me, we came to blows in the past. Right, what's priority here? Muscat or Sana? Mm. Or maybe even helping out in the north. I don't know. You know, Marahen is somebody that I want nothing out of here, but they're unlikely to wipe peace out because, yeah, I've not threatened them in any way. You guys will take care of this in a few months. The Ottomans are going to make their magic work on Sana. Which tells me that, yes, you're going to be working on Muscat. Seven is all I need there. Don't honestly need a general the way things are going, but I will keep you around because I uh, I can see things going south. May we see the nations ranked in income, Jake? Certainly. Top Dog, Commonwealth, France, Great Britain, Castile, Aragon, Ming, Delhi, then Ardalan. Sitting pretty at 8th place. If this was uh, 1.18, 8th place would mean good things. Alright, Tabriz, it's time to go. Uh, he's going to be out of there on the 30th of June. I sadly can't make it there until... Not fast enough, unless you can help out. 2nd of July, 3rd of July, oh that's sad, I'm sad, means it's going to get a bit of magic done to it, but oh well, I mean uh, I could just fight him in another place, but this is all mountains, makes it very hard to fight in a battle that definitely is unfair, this isn't so good though, split my forces up and he knows it, so he's uh, rounding back on me. Perhaps I should keep my forces together then. They're still inferior. If anything, that's more the reason that I should strike them whilst they are inferior. But he's also gotten his numbers back, so it won't be an easy fight, should it come to that. 
what's the madman up to? Simply can't tell. Oh. Well, that's very generous of Adele. Just can't figure that guy out sometimes. Okay. The Ottomans are working down there. That's good. This battle not looking so good. Stick in the best man we have for this. Seems that everybody's going to get there in the same time. So he will have me flanked and... Oh my. He doesn't think he could win that. I'm going to go and crush him. Well, thanks Adele. You're doing us a solid there. You're doing the man looks a solid there. If I can get up here before he moves across, nah, I won't be able to, but would have been nice to stick him in a uh, position where he has to take a crossing penalty. I wonder if I can win this then. I'm greatly amused at this turn of events. Jake's fear Brazil so you can get easy rubber for your factories. Ah, uh, the joke's been made. Okay, a bit of Ottoman support and massive advantage when it comes to military tech. Heck, I even out-disciplined the guy. I feel sorry for him at this rate. Oh, that's interesting. If you want to go for Highlands, then I'm only too happy to fight you in that case. He's going to be there for a while, potentially longer than I'll be here. Potentially. He does bring a lot of cannons to the party. But I don't think I have enough down south to really spread out and do what I do best, which is win. Don't want to keep spending loads of money on these guys, though. They're going to run away. I want to take this back. These guys are being a real pain in the rear end. Let's go and do it. Perhaps the clever thing to do is engage him whilst he's still a little bit broken up. Which does mean ditching Tabriz. Hmm, I kind of really want it back, but the clever thing is to really go and smack him. No, I think I'll keep him nailed where he is. I can take Tabriz. Wow, with a water shortage I certainly can take a Tabriz. Jake, is there any chance of frontline supply division designer being added to EU4? It's rather confusing. It, it wouldn't make sense for EU4. I'm trying to imagine how it could, and I'm bringing up nothing. There we go, seven is plenty. There's still that three stack of Mata Hens just floating around here like they're like they own the place, really. Alright, how about I kill them and then move into Muscat? How's that sound? Bet it sounds horrible for them. Alright, ten to one, so let's not forget my own rule here. And I forgot it, and I'm paying for it. Well, they're not about to get a general for the privilege. What kind of rebels are tearing up the mams, Jake? Uh, huh, here I was thinking they were trying to westernize, and that's why they were getting rebels. I guess the Mamluks have hit into one of their uh, horrible events, because this is a suspiciously high number of rebels for uh, a nation to normally get. Well, this isn't nice at all. Did I get disease? I got disease. I should go and ravage it all before they start causing me more troubles, as while I have them in favorable circumstances. Oh, and I certainly don't want them moving over to Erzakan. Okay, I'm just going to sit mm, sit you back there and get the rest of you over here. You just need to hold down the fort and the rest of you get over to Erzincan. I don't think I quite understand what is going on with that. Oh... Oh ho, okay. Which army is which? 